Hello, I'm Matt Henry with Graco's Lubrication Equipment Division. In this video, we'll show you how to calibrate the pulse meter. To calibrate a pulse meter, first you have to wake up the meter. So, press any button on the keypad to wake it up. And it first takes you to the dispense screen or in dispense mode. Press the center button to activate. You hear the solenoid click. And now press the center button again to end. The solenoid clicks again. And now we are in the dispense setup and utility menu screen. Choose utility menu and put in the pin code to access the utility menu. I chose a pin code of 4357 to access the utility menu. Make sure that the check mark is highlighted and press the center button again. Now we are in the utility menu. Scroll down until you see the calibrate option. Press the center button. Now we're in the calibrate screen. On the pulse meter, there are two ways to calibrate the meter. The first way is to actually do a dispense, and for this one, we're going to dispense exactly one liter into this one liter graduated cylinder. Dispense it, and then through that dispense, you'll tell the meter exactly how much should be measured out as one liter. Press the center button to activate, and now it says K factor dispense, so we're going to dispense exactly one liter into this graduated cylinder. I just dispensed exactly one liter into this graduated cylinder. Now press the center button to end the K-factor dispense. And now, through that dispense, it gave us a new K-factor of 171. Awesome. Now the meter is calibrated. First, I'll press the center button to end it. And now we can go back into the calibrate to make sure that that new K-factor of 171 has been saved, and indeed it has. So that's great. Now this meter has been calibrated. There's an alternate method to calibrating the pulse meter, and this alternate method is used when a one quart or one liter calibrated volumetric flask is not available. For the specific steps on this alternate method, you can look at the manual for the pulse meter. In this video, all I'm going to do is show you the last step in the process, which is to manually increase or decrease the K factor. Once the plus minus has been highlighted, you press the center button, and now you'll get this up down arrow. So you can hit the up arrow to increase the K factor, and you'll want to increase the K factor if you have thicker or higher viscosity fluids, or you can decrease the K factor if you have thinner or lighter or lower viscosity fluids. So let's change it back to about 164. So I set the K factor to 164, press the center button to enter, and now the new K factor of 164 is into the meter. Scroll down, go back into calibrate mode to make sure that the new K factor you just put in, you entered into the meter, has been saved, and indeed ours has. Those are the two ways to calibrate a pulse meter.